Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of playing World of Tanks. I'm AJ and today we'll be looking at a game that I had in the T49 which is the American Tier 8 Scout Tank and perhaps one of my favorite tanks in the game. It is because it is so ridiculous with the gun and with the mobility is when when those uh, HE rounds actually pen their target uh, seeing a thousand damage or maybe 900 damage pop up on your screen is totally hilarious. So Swamp is a map that I do not like. It's because its meta is very very campy. Um, you cannot play aggressive on this map. At least not to not play aggressively and play it effectively. You can play aggressive, but that gets you killed nine times out of ten. So in the T49, what I'm doing is I'm gonna go to this corner right here, see if there's any scouts that are made it across, and hopefully. Uh, teach him a lesson to not come back here again and sure enough there's a T-49 that the, made it across and unfortunately for him my AG sound round does actually hit the mark and actually pin him and one shot the poor T-49 on the end though the gun of the T-49 does make it hilarious like we just saw it's also the Achilles heel for this tank just because many times you won't be able to contest scouting uh, points with the, the enemy uh, scouts just because if you miss your AG round or if the AG round doesn't pen then you have a 26 second reload in which any most of the enemy uh, scouts will make actually really short work of you so that's another thing you want to keep in mind I tried to kill the MX-1390 on the move but that is a little bit uh, hoping for too much just because the T49's gun is super inaccurate on the move so what I did instead is when I missed I actually just rammed him just to throw his aim off at the VZ um, that was behind us and that was good enough for our scout tank to actually take him out. Now we're gonna go back to ridge fighting and seeing if we can like take out more enemy tanks. One other thing you want to keep in mind is C49's gun it has a very big caliber so if you fire HE rounds out of it you might not do the full damage that's listed on the cards but it will still do sizable damage and if you hit somebody enough times you will actually kill crew members, knock out uh, modules and so you can have a very devastating effect on the enemy uh, just because of that. So. I shoot at the E100 at range and still manage to do damage because the AG round I'm firing is pretty big and it's kind of hard for this gun not to actually do uh, any kind of damage. At this point we are just biding our time here, waiting for the game to develop and that's essentially what you have to do in Swamp. There's no actual way around it. You just wait, you wait for the game to develop and hopefully enemy leaves one of their flanks open or one of their flanks weak and then you rush that flank and game over from that point onwards unless you play your defense really really well. So at this point what we are doing is we are actually just um, trying to figure out where the enemy tanks are relocating to. Uh, our tanks are basically static, um, ME4 sitting in base, uh, there's uh, Type 61 who is back in the corner by our cap and uh, so what that has left us is we uh, some of our heavy tanks had to go spot the enemy tanks and that has gotten one of our platoon mates killed uh, in the process. So at this point again we are just we're just biding our time trying to whittle their numbers down and then go and spot things for our, our team to shoot at. Now through the magic by editing we'll actually fast forward three minutes worth of gameplay which actually nothing happened we just sat around and tried to figure out where the enemies were relocating to. And then at that point what happened was the enemy actually rushed forward um, with two of their heavy tanks and over here I could shoot at the healthier E100 but my idea was to reduce the E100 that was already crippled to such low health that anything on our team can actually easily one shot it. And then we go back into cover. Now there was an IS-8 who was holding up the corner at uh, the northern part of the map and he has actually moved into the swamp as well which gives us perfect opportunity to flank across and get more damage on the enemy using the incredible mobility of the T-49 to get there. 
Now, if you if you ever have to cross over to the side, if the uh, if the enemy just do not want to move, what you want to do is you want to go all the way down into the water, and go all the way across uh, to this corner right here. And the reason for that is there's only one place that the arty can um, shoot you from, and that's in the middle. And if it's if he's not there, then you're basically artillery safe, and you can duke it up with whatever is in that corner. I can't do it because I was in a scout tank, so but I have done that in medium tanks before so enemy already gets taken out and here I make a mistake I should have actually moved forward into cover right here and then actually decided uh, to fire instead I fired over there and that could have costed me my life um, but luckily for me some of the enemy team was were actually bad shots or just got better RNG altogether and I managed to make it out with a sliver of my health now over here um, initially I was gonna spot uh, the enemy base but then I see the ISA moving forward and uh, I was fairly sure I wanted to help my T110 e4 by firing on this ISA and my shot sails through and manages to pen the ISA who gets promptly taken up by our team now there's three enemy tanks uh, that are unaccounted for right now so I'm gonna climb this little ridge in front of me and use uh, the view range that I have to spot um, to spot the tanks I try to spot the um, the enemy TD that was lurking around in the middle but unfortunately I can't spot him but I do spot the enemy light tank who seems to not understand where uh, he's getting lit from and he just sits in his position just long enough for me to shoot at him now as as I'm backing I kind of realize that the enemy TD can be in front and so I instead move forward and hug the ridge and surely enough he's right there and gets engaged by our medium tank at this point I can't really help him because I'm myself in one shot so um, he is he is kind of like in that battle on his own and uh, it seems like he's getting the better of the E4 and as soon as he gets taken out uh, I will rush into uh, the enemy base to light the enemy arty and that's all she wrote for this game so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode of playing world of tanks